Hello all, in this particular tutorial, I'll talk about how to do Xming X11 display forwarding using PowerShell or Windows command prompt. Now, this is the tutorial where you don't have the putty in your organization and you are using PowerShell or Windows command prompt to connect to your Linux servers. Then how about setting the X11 display forwarding? That's what I'm going to talk in this particular tutorial. We need some mandatory packages such as xorg x11 and install xorg x11 packages and xterm is not a mandatory package but it helps us to, verif to verify that the x11 display forwarding is working. It's an optional package but it helps us to verify that everything is working fine. Now in the there is a config file shd underscore config file under etc ssh in that particular file make sure x11 forwarding is set to s make sure that it is set to s and if it was set to no change it to s and then restart the ssd service to take that particular change effective if you just change it and but don't restart the service then that particular parameter won't be effective so you need to make sure that you need to restart that particular service once all of that is done download xming from this particular website it's a free tool it's a small package it's it will it will take few seconds to download download it install it it's and it's a next next text i'm not going to do it i've already installed it on my system uh, you can just download it and install it then once that is done we are going to launch the powershell if we are going to use the powershell you have to do one small thing before connecting to the server you have to set the dollar env display to the loopback IP address 127.0.0.1 colon 0, .0. So you have to enter this particular value and 127.0.0.1, what is it? It's a loopback IP. So you are going to add that particular value. Then you will connect to your server or the Linux server using SSH username at either the server name or IP address. And then you will set export display. And this is the IP address of your Windows machine and seven is the display that you will be using, the display number that you will be using from the XMIC. Now, if you want to do it using the Windows command prompt, accept the first command X, everything, the second and third remains the same. In the first command, instead of setting the dollar $ENV, we'll be saying set display to the exact value. Now that we have understood everything, let's connect to our Windows server. So let's connect to our Windows server. So I'm going to launch PowerShell. I don't have a putty in, on this machine. So I'm going to connect using the PowerShell and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to verify if I'm ready. So SSH Oracle at DB1, I'm logging in, give the password of Oracle. Then you need to verify some, you need to verify some packages if they are already installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if it is not installed, you install them RPM minus QA grep and I'm going to do sudo for that particular package and looks like that particular package is installed. Let's take a look at xterm and you can see xterm is also installed. Now, as I mentioned, make sure that the x11 port forwarding is also set. So let's take this and track and, and again, you need to be, and you can see x11 forwarding is, this is commented out, the x11 forwarding is set to yes. So all good. So I've done all the prep work uh if if this is not done again change it and restart the ssd service all good now what we are going to do now what we are going to do is we are going to exit from this particular box and what we are going to do is we are going to launch the xming so let's say x launch give a value so i'm going to use seven next next no access control next finish you can see xming server is listening at 7.0 now remember that 7 that is important remember that 7 now what i'm also going to do is i'm going to show you the ip address of this particular machine so ip config point str ip v4 and that value is 192.168.1.2 so now you remember these two values the ip address is 192.168.1.2 and the display value is 7.0 now combine this combine this into one value and then change the display value to this value now this is the display value that we, you will be setting 
this is the display value that you will be setting so remember this particular display value this is the ip address of your windows machine this is the display number which you, you use to launch xbing this is just a dot zero which is the this is the display number and you will be using this once you connect to the linux server you'll be using this before that you'll be using the loopback so now remember this particular value now what i'm going to do is i'm going to launch powershell and cls so before doing that let's say cls and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to say dollar env display equals in bracket 127.0.0.1 colon 0, .0, .0 and that's done now i've set this particular variable now it's time to connect to the server so ssh oracle at db1 give the password and if everything working x term should launch and the reason is i did not set the display so remember i told you that we need to set this so let's do this export display and now launch x term and this time it should work and you can see in the background x term has launched so this is the way you do it if you want to do it using the powershell now let me close this let me exit from the powershell let me launch the windows command prompt which is already launched so let me go back clear the screen and here if i want to do the same thing using the command prompt do set use display is equal to the value which is 127.0.0.1.0. sorry colon 0.0 that's done connect to the server server the next server so sh oracle at db1 connect to the server give the password of your oracle user that's good export the display variable and this time it is the ip address of my windows box so which is 192.168.1.2 then again 7 which is the display number where the xming is listening that's done launch xterm and you can see the xterm has launched so i hope this particular tutorial was useful the in this particular tutorial we learned how to launch xming x11 display forwarding using either the windows command prompt or the powershell without using putty we were able to do connect to and linux server on the x11 display forwarding thank you for watching and if you like the video if you like the content that i'm uploading do subscribe to my channel and see you in next tutorial bye bye